Hey everybody, Halloween is getting closer and I decided to make a scary witch's hat. Okay, now this doesn't look, uh, it, it needs uh, uh, bends in it. So the curve pinch brush will come in handy. Uh, you select it by pressing B, C, and H. B, C, H. B, C, H. And this is similar to the past brushes we've uh, looked at in that we use it by creating a line. Okay. And no, I don't care about my undos. And then it doesn't do anything until you click on it um, or move it around. And that puts an indent in our geometry uh, with the line specified. And then to get rid of the other line, all we do is uh, draw another one and click it. Perfect. And let's do it again. And a few more times. Okay. In between here. I like it. Great. Doesn't that really add to it? I like it. Now, click and and one thing you can do is if you make a line like this, but you don't like that shape and you click it anyway, you are not lost. Okay, let's see. You can uh, click on any part of it and change the shape of it and it affects where it is going to lay down the uh, 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 bend or fold it's making. Okay, I don't like that, so I'm going to increase my draw size to affect a larger area. Pull this out to make it straight. And right, decrease to just affect that. Okay, perfect. Now let's create another one. Nice. Okay, now you can also uh, create a line and then hold Alt till you see the minus sign and you can push out. Uh, let's make it the Z intensity a little larger so we can see that. Hold down Alt and push out. A little extreme, but we could dynamesh and smooth that out, things like that. Uh, Control Z, uh, let's create another line and decrease that a little bit. Alt and pull out. Okay, great. Now that is perfect. This is really going to add to my Halloween, and my witch's costume is almost complete. Thanks, everybody. If you like this, please comment below and subscribe and like, and thanks, everybody.